my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus today i would like to reflect with you on divine providence in the writings of st francis de sales according to st francis de sales if you have nobody else to help you if you feel that you are lost in the world if your own weaknesses and burden of your sins oppress you if you really find no way out then think of god he is your friend he is always with you and will always help you for st francis de sales providence is nothing but what st paul calls hope against hope romans chapter 4 verse 21 the last refuge for the oppressed and the downtrodden when human strength fails then divine grace fills the more wretched we are the more conscious we are of our own misery the more we ought to trust in the goodness and mercy of god for mercy and wretchedness are so closely knit together that one cannot be experienced without the other providence is a transformation in grace of the whole human world of experience it means that in every situation of our lives in every perplexity there is always a way out everything can be grace every situation in life every suffering is already taken up into the embracing or embracing mercy of god god wants us to place all our confidence in his fatherly care for us put your trust in god and he will help you he will support you and he will be always with you if divine providence permits that you pass through the crucible of sufferings conflicts and humiliations do not refuse them but accept them willingly and lovingly and with a great serenity of heart saint paul says in his letter to the romans chapter 8 35 who can separate us from the love of christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril the whole teaching of the new testament on providence could be summarized in this text we are called to believe in this providence of god in our own lives and we are also called to be in the world a signs of god's providence to the people we serve we are called to bear in the depth of our hearts god's love care and solicitude for his people we are to have a heart like the heart of jesus full of mercy compassion and love let us therefore embark on the sea of divine providence let us leave the care of our affairs to our god without any fear his goodness will provide sufficiency for all let us be reminded of the words of saint francis de sales do not look forward to what may happen tomorrow but the same everlasting father who cares for you today will take care of you tomorrow and every day either he will shield you from suffering or he will give you unfailing strength to bear it hence be at peace put aside all anxious thoughts and imaginations and say continually the lord is my strength and my shield my heart has trusted in him and i am helped he is not only with me but in me and i in him